Yeah, but how often do you play? Do you have like a schedule? Uh, before I didn't have one, but now I'm more consistent. Now I play every one in the afternoon until four or five. After that, I'll do some exercise, go jogging outside and lift some weights or do some soccer practice. And then I'll be back on maybe 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. and play until midnight. Yeah, that's pretty much my schedule right now. It's like a work day. Yeah, it's like a work day. <laughs> <laughs> Even my streaming hours are already like a work day. Like I sometimes play eight hours or more. But at least it's something I enjoy. Oh yeah. So it's so when you started, kind of, I guess when you started, it wasn't that serious. You were like, oh okay. There's a lot. Like I have friends who play games. And yeah, you know, mm-hmm. they decide yeah. to stream. But then you know mm-hmm. they streamed it once, twice. Manat, mm-hmm. they're done. No. Yeah. So, Iko, it's obviously you kept streaming. You kept going. Is that like? Do you think that's what you did to? Can get a following, get more people to follow the stream. You just stayed really consistent. Is that like one of the secrets? Yeah, you have to be consistent. And I think the hardest part is like how to stand out from all those streamers. Why should those viewers come back to you? Mm. Why would they watch the stream again? So yeah, you have to check. You have to check that checkbox. So. So you can build a following. So for me, it was just improving my skill on the game and also entertaining the viewers and interact with them. So I really try as much as I can to talk with my viewers and entertain their questions. Or I even have a followers day which where I play with my followers. So, yeah, that's... How does it- how does that work? Like, kanang, you just put like a, you just put like a, a call. Yeah, you know, work. Okay, go to this link, and yeah, whoever shows up, then we get to play. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So we have, I have my Discord server, and whoever gets in there first, I'm gonna play with them. Before, I also did like a reservation style, like just message me when you want to play with me on which Friday. That worked with, that worked as well, but now I'm just more chill and yeah. Whoever comes first into my room, let let's play. So I that's happened. I guess you have enough people following Amura. It's pretty reliable. Now once you put that link open, yeah, and in. yeah, and even if there's nobody joining, I'll, or if I'm lacking people, I'll just add some of my friends which I'm already playing with. So yeah. Mm. So. Kada, you mentioned like how do streamers uh stand out, no? Mm-hmm. And so I suppose like not all the streamers are necessarily good at the game. Mm-hmm. No? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so like so so for example, like somebody because I okay, I'm making an assumption. My assumption is you are good at the game. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> But mm-hmm. are you like right? I don't know what was the last. Thing? I think I saw you post like top seventeen in the Philippines or something. Yeah, top seventeen in the Philippines and wins. Yeah, in wins. So yeah, so I've been really grinding the past six months. So I've been playing more or less six hours, eight hours every day, just to climb the ladder. Because of course, it's also part of your marketing. Like, oh, this guy is top seventeen in the Philippines. I uh, want to watch this guy. Let's see if I can learn a thing or two from him. So yeah, it's also part of marketing for me that I climbed up that ladder on the leaderboard. Yeah, Marek, that's that's your differentiating factor, Konohai. Yeah. That's what it's any. Mm-hmm. Uh, Correct. So, like, yeah. so when, when people are, like the ones who are not good at the game, what are they doing? Uh, They're watching because they... Oh no! You mean the the streamers yeah, who are yeah. not good at the game? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I know some streamers who are just really fun to watch. Like they have nice cons- conversations. Or there was this streamer who 
who incorporated his streaming and gaming with uh, his drum playing skills. So he plays the drums. So while he's not in the game, he just plays the drums. So I found it quite entertaining as well. So that made him really unique. And yeah, I just watched him for his drum skills. What do you mean, like not in the game? So, like when you die, like you don't, you don't. Uh, spawn yeah, could be. Out right yeah, away. could be when he's dead or just in the lobby waiting for the game. So he would be just playing the drums, and he has a really, really nice setup. Yeah, he name? has a really nice setup. Do you remember uh, his name? I, I forgot. Yeah, but whenever I see his stream, it pretty stands out for me. What's the matter, like, so He has his computer there, and yeah, like the drums is right next to it. Yeah. So when yeah. He's dead. Just turns around, yeah, just starts playing. Yeah, or when he's just in the lobby while waiting for the game, he just plays the drums. And he's pretty good at it as well. <laughs> and he has this really nice setup with neon lights and everything. So it's quite amazing to watch. Oh, yeah? That's interesting. I, mean, I guess some people, like, kanang sheer kanang personality lang yun. Like, my lang yun. Yeah, story yeah, na. yeah, super. Like, they're pretty fun to watch, uh, they would make people laugh all the time or even their cursing the time. It's just fun to watch. Like there's this streamer uh, from Cebu as well, Alok. He's good at the game, but he he's really good at entertaining people. Like he dances on the stream or <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just fun to watch him in general. So that's okay. why he's growing really fast. 